Hello everyone, my name is Rosa and today's art project is a watercolor original artwork called The Beast with Flowers. As you can see, I have already inked the artwork. This is because when I sketch an ink on watercolor paper, it usually takes me a really long time. So I decided to do this beforehand so that the video wouldn't be too long. As you can see, I started with the flowers. So the main colors for this artwork are going to be yellow, pink, and blue. I kept most of the flowers either within the pink and yellow shades. And then I tried to balance out the yellows in the flowers by putting a crown on the other side of the character. You will see later on I color in the crown a very bright yellow color so that it stands out against the blue of the background on that side. The character is also resting on top of a red cape, so that is meant to balance out the pink in the flowers that we see covering her. For the yellow flowers, I decided to add some brown because it will balance out the brown color of the horn um, I later colored in. Personally, I really struggled attempting to do this in watercolor. This is mainly because I have not practiced my watercolor techniques in almost two to three years now. This is mainly because I've just been busy with um, work and school, and so I really didn't have a chance to practice. So I really struggled with all the fine details of this watercolor artwork, especially with the flowers, uh, with all the greenery of the flowers. I tried making them different shades, but unfortunately it's not really visible from afar. It's only when you get up real close that you can see different shades of green. My thoughts on this artwork were that the character is seen as a beast mainly because of the horns and just because of the horns but she is or she was a ruler so now when we see her she is already dead or in the process of dying so she's supposed to be a mythical creature and she is returning she is leaving sort of her mortal attachments and going back to nature hence why the crown and the robe are left to the side as she is slowly fading away and becoming flowers. This is just my little story I wanted to give the character. That's why her expression is very peaceful because she's known that she has to return back to nature one day. Speaking of the water, I tried really hard to make sort of um, there is a technique called cauliflower effect uh, when you do watercolor it's basically a wet on wet technique um, as I said before I have not done watercolor in two to three years so it was very very hard for me to do the effect properly it took me uh, like three or four tries in just that one section between her horn and her hair and then once I got the hang of it, I proceeded to the rest of the part. Also, I did not do the water completely around the crown. That's because I wanted to paint it yellow first before going in and putting the blue effects. This is so that I could have avoid turning the parts of the crown green. You will see that later on in the video. For the horn at the beginning, I wanted to make it black, but then as I looked at the yellow flowers, I decided I wanted to make the brown somewhat close to that yellow that I made previously with the flowers. Also, I don't know what any of these flowers are. I just googled pretty flowers and, and then I just drew them on the paper. So at first I was going to draw her hair black, but then I thought it would be too different from the color scheme I had already picked out. 
so I decided to do just blue for her hair but then I saw that it blended too much with the the water that was around her so then I decided to add reds and purple to her hair to show her slowly fading away and becoming flowers the purple I just added in to sort of make her hair distinct from the water around her also to darken her hair up a bit since I unfortunately made the water a bit more darker than I originally wanted also I was struggling really hard making the same cauliflower effect on her hair this is mainly because I laid the water down and my problem is I've lost practice so I became really slow and by the time I tried putting on the dots on the hair so that it could spread the water underneath had already dried uh, so it wasn't spreading so the only thing I could do was add more water this unfortunately causes my paper to buckle even more Towards the end, when I show you the completed artwork up close, you will see the paper buckled a lot. This is mainly because I went into the hair and put a lot of water on the paper. And with the water on the background of the flowers, I really tried hard to make it more darker to show that she was already sort of fading quite a bit. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to do the effect that I wanted, mainly because I forgot how, and also I wanted to prevent the blue from going on into the flowers. Moving on to the skin, I used a combination of yellow, red, and a bit of brown to make her skin. I tried making the area around her eyes red to show that she probably cried knowing her end was coming, but she still was able to accept it. I also added a bit of that red on her shoulders and her collar just to show that, that she was alive. Also, I'm sorry for the lighting. Um, the lighting was on automatic and I did not realize it went from white light to yellow light all of a sudden. Here's the artwork up close. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys around next time. Thanks for watching.